DCT Industrial Trust is a leading industrial REIT with operations across the U.S. and in Mexico. Joining me here at NARIT's Washington, D.C. offices is President and CEO Phil Hawkins. Phil, tell me a little bit about how fundamentals are going in your U.S. markets. Beginning to improve. Uh, stabilization is the word I would use. The, uh, the economy, GDP, uh, important metrics we track such as uh, freight volume, port activity are beginning, are beginning to improve. Net absorption or the change in occupancy, which was decidedly negative for the last 12 months, has uh, become much less so. Uh, rents, which have been declining rather significantly for the last 12 to 18 months, beginning to bottom. We think absorption will begin to bottom if it hasn't already. So as a result, I, I'm much more optimistic about uh, the fundamentals that we will be operating in for the next uh, uh, 12 months. And what about the situation in Mexico? You know, Mexico is also beginning to show improvement. Leasing activity is up over the la in the last quarter, uh, similar to the U.S. And I think probably following the U.S., maybe trailing it by six months, uh, Mexico remains an important uh, distribution and manufacturing location for the United States. If anything, it has probably picked up market share due to concerns, political concerns, and energy costs uh, with regard to Asia. So uh, we expect Mexico uh, has and will continue to probably pick up market share relative to Asia, which bodes well uh, for long-term real estate fundamentals in that country. For most REITs, 2009 was a year to get their house in order. Given the steps that DCT has taken, are you satisfied with your balance sheet now? You know, we, we've always had a conservative mindset with respect to the balance sheet, which has served us well uh, during this downturn. Where we are today, uh, we're comfortable with, but we would also, from here, like to at least modestly reduce leverage through growth. And by that, I mean as we acquire assets, we'll fund them with either additional equity or proceeds from dispositions of non-strategic assets rather than increasing uh, leverage any further from here. In late March, DCT announced a property acquisition in New Jersey. Now, do you expect to see more deals like this? And how are you finding the overall climate for acquisitions? Well, we certainly hope so. Uh, that was a terrific acquisition. Tom Tucci, a market leader, did a great job sourcing it and then pursuing it and closing that opportunity. So we're excited to have it, like to have more. The fact remains, compared to where I thought the investment market would have been a year ago, uh, which would have been much more active, it, it remains slow. Uh, we are in a period where I think buyers and sellers are still trying to find uh, where that pricing is, the, the stress that we probably would have expected to materialize, uh, to the extent even it has, has not forced uh, companies to, uh, to sell. Either uh, they, they have been able to refinance or extend their debt, banks have, have worked with them, lenders have worked with them. So I don't th we've not yet seen that pick up in activity. I believe it's going to come, but maybe not to the same extent in terms of volume or stress levels that we would have might have expected or hoped for uh, 12 months ago. Phil, thank you very much for joining us. Well, thanks for having me. It's uh, been, been a pleasure. For REIT.com, I'm Matt Bichard. <music>